Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is August 15, 2022, start of the new trading week. Um, this report will take a look at some of their major currency pairs. So sit back, enjoy. I'll be right with you. Before we get started, uh, for those who did not uh, already see my the weekend Forex technical report for the week of August 15, 2022, you can go to our website at forexlive.com and click on the technical analysis link, and it's near the top of that that um, uh, po or that that section. So uh, click on it before. Be sure you look at it. Uh, the benefit to you, even though the the week has already started and the prices have already moved away from some of the technical levels that I outlined in that report, is that I talk a little bit about uh, what um, you know some of the things that I focus on in the uh, in the uh, in all my videos that I, and all, even all my posts that I uh, post on forexlive.com. So you get a better idea. You can become a little bit more educated as far as what uh, I'm looking at and why, okay? And I point out why, why's in, in those videos. So it's an educational video as well as a market uh, timing video. So let's uh, take a look at the um, uh, major uh, indices. We'll start with the euro versus US dollar. And what I saw in the, um, in the video over the weekend is that these, um, and been talking about really for a long time, is that the highs from last week stalled against the swing area through here. I've been outlining that area as a key target on the top side we went up to that target and we found sellers leaning against that level we saw the price move down on friday and we saw the continuation of the move to the downside here this is what it looks like on the hourly chart and we ended the week just below the 100 hour moving average the price in the asian session tried to move up tried to get through that 100 hour moving average couldn't do it fell back down came to the 200 hour moving average where we did find some temporary support in the uh, early er European session late Asian session before falling below that level you can see the momentum on the downside here on the break of the 200 hour moving average that's what you look for folks uh, when you get these uh, breaks and uh, it worked uh, to uh, perfection here this week or, or today uh, moving down in between um, really b b the best support is down here near these swing low areas areas um so uh, but we are below the 61.8 percent retrace we are below the 200 hour moving average they define close risk for traders now 61 comes in at 1.02159 stay below that level is more bearish let's uh take a look at the uh dollar versus yen uh, we saw the empire manufacturing come in much weaker than expected this morning very weaker than expected um actually at minus 31 something like that versus plus five ex estimate. So we saw the uh, dollar versus yen actually move to the downside here, um, uh, which which um, uh, as a result of, uh, of, of the weakness and, and the lower interest rates as well in, in the US. Uh, the, of, of significance from a technical perspective is the inability to get above the 100 hour moving average, not only on Friday's trade, but also in trading today, got close to it and just couldn't do it. So uh, sellers were leaning against the 100-hour moving average. That was a risk-defining level. Risk could be defined and limited against that 100-hour moving average. And sellers were happy to lean against it, you know, pretty, you know, give some room room against it. Uh, couldn't get anywhere close to it. Started, started to move back to the downside. This area right here is our next uh, target, 132.24 to 132.479. We had a swing low here. Uh, we sort of waffled around around the uh, level here, a swing high right here, swing high right here before moving up, and then a swing low, swing low. Uh, again, another waffle area here, but some, some uh, failed breaks through here and through here, but reestablished support against the top side of that before moving higher, now moving back down and uh, testing the high of that area. Uh, we did find some leaners against the high of the le level on the first move to the downside, 132.75.8. Uh, so we bounced up too, so there is some some re reluctance to go lower, but the dollar yen um, is moving away from the moving averages and has a little bit more of a bearish bias. If we can get below this level, then the 100-day moving average becomes the target for the that uh, currency pair, the sterling versus U.S. dollar. This is like the euro, where we uh, we, we uh, closed the week uh, closer to the 100, 200 hour moving averages in the Asian session here today. We started to move up, got through the 200 hour moving average, but could not get through the 100. Traders leaned against that uh, area, 
and uh, didn't know which weather was going to go higher or lower, but the market, uh, sellers who leaned against that level were rewarded when the price moved back below the 200 and started its rotation to the downside. We are seeing a rotation uh, back uh, to the upside uh, in this pair as a result of the manufacturing, uh, or the New York manufacturing, Empire manufacturing data. Uh, we did fall below this floor here, uh, which, which um, was more bearish, um, but um, we uh, could not sustain that momentum. Um, and the price moved higher. So there was a little bit before the data, there was some rebounding um, uh, price action here on the failure of this break of this low. You know, you know, you can go back in time and say this low, this low, this, this low, this low, this low, this low, so on, so on down the road. So we should have stayed below that level. We didn't. So uh, the, the uh, sellers turned the buyers through here and pushed the market back to the upside. Resistance still remains at the 200 hour moving average on the top side. Uh, top side and um, uh, we are trading back below the swing low from Friday's trade after this little break up here on the data. So um, if you if you want to think about selling the sterling versus US dollar, really close risk le level is near the 121 level here. Um, if the price can stay below that level that and get below the 38.2, that would have traders looking down toward this uh, other, other low uh, low area once again at 120.63.8. If we move above the 121 level, it gets a little more muddy because we had the failure here. We had the failure of the break of the 38.2 and of this uh, this level through here at the uh, 121 level. So be aware of that that uh, dynamic. Uh, let's take a look at the dollar versus Canada. We have oil prices moving sharply to the downside uh, here today. Um, if we uh, look at that, uh, this currency pair that has led to a lower loony or low, uh, higher dollar versus Canada. When dollar Canada goes higher, the, the Canadian dollar goes lower. Uh, we saw the break of break back, back above the 100-day moving average, 100-hour moving average, 200-hour moving average, 50% retracement, 61.8% retracement, this swing area right here. And we're heading up to another swing area through here. Um, but if we uh, go back and go back in time and take a look at the other other levels through here, uh, you can see, um, you know, some, some of the reasons why that area was a, I have marked as a resistance target get above that level starts to put the pair in the more of the extreme area here for that uh, currency pair uh, the um, the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar were uh, some of the weakest currencies currencies in trading here today uh, as a result of um, we had China data come out much weaker than expected over the weekend and, and that led to this risk risk off sentiment we saw the uh, price of the uh, this is the hourly chart of the Aussie versus US dollar move back below the 100 day moving average tried to hold support couldn't fell below it and then started to use that level as resistance fell below the 100 hour moving average below the 38.2 of this move uh, below the um, and came down to test the 200 hour moving average where we are finding some support buyers against that level uh, currently comes in at uh, 0 0.70 or 7 I think it is 7008 uh, that's uh, just above the 50% retracement at 0 0.7027. So good support down here versus the 250% 200 hour moving average 50% retracement level uh, is uh, helping to stall the fall for the Aussie versus US dollar. We are seeing stocks move lower as a result of the uh, the um, uh, the data this morning. The uh, Nasdaq index is down minus 80 one points the Dow is down minus 231 the S&P is down minus 33 points and as I mentioned oil oil prices are also uh, sharply lower lower with the um, crude oil prices um, uh, let's see the uh, WTI crude oil is, is at 87.22 that's uh, down around four dollars and eighty cents on the day which is uh, certainly um, and uh, a uh, concern uh, it also the low price today also tested the low price from oil moving up sharply down testing the low prices that we saw going back in time this is the uh, this is the hourly ch chart so our recent lows being tested there you have it my name is uh, Greg McCloskey good fortune to trading bye bye now